Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my HTML5 tutorial. Today, I'm going to go over some of the standard web page tags, and I'm going to jump right into Canvas because everybody seems to be really, really interested in that. Now, first off, what we're going to do is I'm going to tell the browser that opens this up to render this page in standards mode. So that's what that means right there. And just so you know, this does not work on anything previous to Internet Explorer 9. I was kind of holding off, hoping that eventually Internet Explorer would get its act together and get it working but too bad not really. Then I'm going to find that I'm using English on this page and this is all just me talking to the browser. Then I'm going to tell the browser what character encoding method I'm going to be using. Then I just go meta character set is equal to UTF-8. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tool called Modernizer and you can get that at Modernizer dot com. Here's the web page over here on the right side of the screen. And it's just a JavaScript library that allows HTML5 to work on all browsers, but I'm going to use it in this tutorial only to check if Canvas is installed on the current browser that we're going to be working with. So that's where you get that guy. And I have a link in the underboard underneath this video. And I'm just going to copy it and save it into the directory. And then I'm going to go script and I'm going to point at it. So modernizer dot custom 649.js. So that's just a JavaScript library. I'm going to be pulling in, and the name for yours might be different than mine, but either way, whatever it's named, you just point at it. So that's all we're going to do with that. And then title tag, I'm just going to say messing with HTML5. Close title tag, close my head tag, open up the body section, Give myself a little bit of space here, and then I'm going to create the canvas that we can draw on, and I'm going to give it an ID, canvas, number one, and I'm going to give it a width equal to 500 pixels. Height is going to be equal to 400 pixels, and of course you can make this whatever you want. And inside of here, if the browser does not support this, your browser doesn't support HTML5, and it sucks. And then close off the body tag and close off the HTML. So that's just basic HTML right there. And I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways to work with this guy here. Right here, after we pull the modernizer library in, I'm going to create a style area. Type is equal to text, CSS, and I'm keeping this all in the same file just to make it a little bit easier to understand. Close off the style area. And you could style this just like any other element. So I'm gonna say canvas number one, which is the ID that I gave to this guy. And let's say that I wanna change the background color on it to green, just to do something. And I'll file save it, reload. And there you can see, there's the canvas. It's drawn on the screen. And here I changed the background color of it to green. Now we're gonna do some fancier things here. Script type is equal to text. JavaScript. And then what we want to do is perform some certain actions whenever the page is loaded. And how do you do that? Type in window on load. I'm going to say that I want to run a certain type of function inside of this bad boy. And to keep everything all nice and neat here, I'm actually going to call another function. My canvas app is what it's called, what I'm calling it. This is just a name I made up. So then I want to create that function inside of here. Let me just copy this, paste that inside of there. And I'm going to run a couple little things inside of here. First, I'm going to say if is canvas supported on the current browser, that is. This is the name of a function that I'm going to call. And if it's not, I want to jump out of here. So I'm just going to trigger return. So what do I got to do? I need to create this function. We're going to be jumping back into here. So type in function, paste. Simply what this guy's going to do is it's going to use the modernizer library to check if I can use Canvas or not. So it's just going to return that element whenever it's called up inside of here. So it's just basic JavaScript I'm using here. And we can check if Canvas is working by going document, write, Canvas is working. Reload it. You can see Canvas is working, popped up here on the screen. And it also deleted what we previously had there, which was the canvas itself. And the reason why is anytime the screen reloads with any type of information, the canvas is deleted. So if I wanted it to show up again, I'd need to actually recreate it. So that's just the way that HTML5 works in canvases in specific. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually grab a reference to the canvas that I created here. So I'm just gonna create a variable in JavaScript. I'm gonna say document dot get element by ID. And what am I going to put inside of here? Well, if I want to grab this guy down here and it has an ID of canvas number, well, I'm going to put that inside of there right like that. And this is going to give me a reference to that guy and I'll be able to make some changes to it. So I'm going to copy this, paste it inside of here. And here I'm making specific changes to the canvas. And let's say I want to change the background color on this guy to black on the canvas again. And let's say that I want to also change the height to 600 pixels and the width to 600 pixels. Reload it. 
As you can see, originally it was green because that's what we did up here with a style sheet. And then we overrid that with this code right here. So now it's 600 pixels by 600 pixels and it's black. So now if I want to get access to the different properties and methods and functions that are available inside of Canvas, what I have to do is I need to create a new variable. And I'm going to call this Canvas Draw 1 My canvas num1 which is the name of the canvas right here the reference that I created on this line right up here to get access to those methods so that I can play around with the canvas I need to send it 2d there are no 3d libraries available and then I can of course check to make sure that this guy actually has a result which is always a good idea so I'm checking as an all value and if it does, I want to jump out. So I'm going to hit return again to jump out of this function. However, if everything's fine, I'm going to show you here a couple different strokes and fill styles and so forth. Inside of here, meaning HTML5, you can do fill style, you can do stroke style, and you can do line width. So those are your three little things you can mess with here. Now, if I want to define a new fill style, I have to pay reference to this guy right here. And I'm just going to type in fill style. And let's set it to green. And then if I want to draw a rectangle on the screen, I go fill, rectangle. And these are all functions that are available to me because I ran get context up here. So that's where that's all coming from. Then I want to define the upper left-hand point. So I'm going to say 10, 10, X and Y. And then I want to define the bottom point. So I'm defining a square or rectangle on a screen. It's going to start up at the 10, 10 position in pixels and then go down to 200, 200 in regards to pixels. And if I file save, you're going to see that appear on the screen. See, drew that right inside of there, which is real nice. And I can also define line width just like we did before. So if you want to change or create a stroke, again, you're going to define, you want to change the line width. And let's make it five pixels. And you can also change the stroke style. I'll get into using patterns and other things like that later on in the tutorial. So let's just throw a color in here. And then to actually draw it on the screen, you need to call stroke rect. And I'm just going to use the exact same values that I have up here. Of course, you don't need to do that. And now you're going to see that there's a gray stroke around the outside of this rectangle. Now this is going to get a little bit more fun. We're just starting off real simple here. And if you'd like to delete or, in essence, redraw a rectangle on the screen using the same background color as the canvas itself, type in clear, rect. Let's say we want to define 10, 10, and we'll just say 100, 100 to not delete the whole entire thing. We'll file save that, reload it. You can see that we cut out a piece of this. However, if we decide that we want to get rid of it altogether, no problem. We just put in exactly the same dimensions that we used whenever we created our original rectangle. Or we could make it the full size of the canvas if that's what you're looking for. And you can see we deleted inside of that area. And we're actually going to have to come in here and go just a little bit bigger to get rid of the whole entire rectangle. And five and five. And that is because of the stroke that was on there. Now we can also create gradients inside here and you can see I'm just redrawing over top of everything in here. So let's say we want to create a gradient. I'm going to call it gradient sam. Canvas draw one and you have to call a function called create linear and there are linear as well as radial gradients. And here I'm going to define again the upper xy point and the bottom xy point for this rectangle. So let's just say 200 so that it looks the same as before. Then what you have to do is define all the colors that are going to go inside of this guy. All the different parts of your gradient. I'm going to go gradient, samp, and to do that you go add, color, stop, and you have to give these little values so that it knows how much of the overall rectangle to take up. And we're just going to copy this, paste it two times. And here I'm going to define that I want the color that I define here to take up one third of the space of the rectangle. And let's say I make this purple. Then I'm going to create another one. This is going to be a third, that's going to be a third, and that's going to be a third. And let's say we want it to be white. So that's how you define all your colors. And these can be forced. You can have some colors take up more of the gradient. You can, you can do whatever you want with it. But then we need to actually draw it on the canvas. So we're going to have to call canvas draw one again. And fill style is equal. Now we created this nice little new customized style. So we have to assign it to the fill style for the canvas that we're going to be drawing on. And that's how you do that. And then we're going to call this canvas again. And we're just going to call fill rec. We're just going to define the points that are needed to be known to draw the rectangle on the screen. Reload. And you can see it drew this nice little gradient here on the screen. That's kind of neat. Canvas is really powerful. You just have to get your head around it. Like I said before, you can define radial 
gradients. So I'm going to call this gradient radial is equal to canvas draw. And we have to do pretty much the same thing. We're going to call a different function, of course. This is called create radial radiant, which makes a lot of sense. And we're going to define our upper point, And then we have to define our radius. And I'm going to say this is five pixels for a radius. And then I'm going to have this, or this is actually the center point. So this is going to be the center of the ellipse that we're going to be drawing on the screen. So it's going to be 100 pixels, 100 pixels. So 100 pixels, 100 pixels. I'm going to have the next one here be 100 pixels so that these guys all overlap with each other, except I'm going to give it a radius of 50. Then I have to define all the different colors for this guy, just like we did with the previous gradient. And all the code that I have here, there's a link underneath of this video that you can get a hold of it. And of course, it's all free. And you just add color stop, just like you did before. And you can define multiple different colors. This time I'm not going to. I'm just going to say white. And you can define those colors up as well. Here, I'm just going to say one. And I'm going to say blue. So I got my colors all defined. I know how much it's going to take up. And da 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 da. Again, we made a customized style inside of here. So we're going to have to assign it for the fill, right like that. And to make this a little bit fun, let's say we want to draw an ellipse on the screen for this. Now we just go canvas draw one. And to draw an ellipse, you have to use the arc function. And we're going to start off with X and Y, then the radius of this arc that we're going to be drawing. Then we're going to have the starting angle and the ending angle. And if we want this to be an ellipse, we're going to go two times math dot pi. And then canvas draw one, fill, right like that. Reload, and you can see there we drew an ellipse on there with a gradient. So that's a quick run through of some of the neat things you can do with HTML5 and Canvas more specifically. I'm going to be jumping around with a bunch of different tu tutorials trying to make this a fun tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, till next time.